Black History Month begins today and often we focus on the past, but I want to introduce you to a 19 year old who's a leader amongst his peers and is making history right now and likely will for many more years to come. Boxing is Omari Jones's passion. Right now it's two workouts a day, six times out the week. And he's really, really good at it. Since he was eight years old, he knew he wanted to be like the best to ever step in the ring. Look like a butterfly, sleep like a bee. Believe it or not, I'm gonna be the next one. I'm in our feet. Show me something. Muhammad Ali is his idol, not just because he was a great athlete. He spoke up for a lot of people and black people to, you know, fight for their rights. Omari is already making history in the boxing world. He is the number one amateur boxer in America in the welterweight division, and he has the championship belt to prove it. So you must be very proud of that. Yes, because I remember the, the hard work, the, the heartbreaks to, to get to this point and finally win a Nationals and get over that hump. And get over the hump he did just a few months after bringing home the belt. He went to Serbia as a member of Team USA, winning a silver medal in the world championships. This is just, you know, something that, that's going to build up to the ultimate goal, which is is the 2024 Olympics uh, when I'm going to win a gold medal there and then go on to turn professional and you know be a world champion in the professionals. While inside the ring Omari is putting people on the ropes outside he's lifting people up and supporting his community. He just leads by example. Omari has been committed to volunteering since he was in middle school. While at Edgewater High School, he was a leader in the Lambda Gamma Young Men's Club. When we were younger, we were like feeding homeless people downtown. We'd go out there on Sunday nights. Um, we also did a lot of mentoring of elementary school kids or middle school kids, depending on what grade level we were in at that time. His work in his community got him recognized by Orlando City leaders, including Mayor Buddy Dyer, who gave him the Youth Humanitarian Award. <laughs> While he works hard to reach his dreams, he's also focused on who he's going to help when he gets there. I would like to, you know, start kind of like start a foundation of, you know, box, bringing up kids and boxing and showing them the way with, you know, it could be business or even boxing and just giving them a, a second home to be at, feed them, what, whatever it is they need. His passion, dedication and compassion setting an example for all of us, both young and old. How am I doing? Good, good. <laughs> And he is such a gentleman. While he's here in Florida, Omari trains at School of Hard Knocks in Castleberry, but right now he's in Colorado training with Team USA, hoping to make his Olympic dreams come true. We'll definitely keep you updated on his journey because I'm certain, John, we will be hearing much more about Omari Jones. And it's not just the boxing. I was equally impressed with all the stuff he's doing in the community because sometimes kids don't think about that stuff, Lou. Yeah, and he's I asked it. his parents, like, how does he find time? And they're like, he just does. It's that wow. important to him that he makes time to serve and give back to his community. So he's an amazing young man. Yeah, that's good.